Hi, I'm Phil Yaskin. I'm an associate professor in the math department at Texas A&M University. The thing I use most is computer graphics, and I use it in lots of different ways. Uh, but I also use it for computational purposes to compute things like derivatives and integrals and solve differential equations. Let me start with teaching, and I will share my screen. And in my second semester calculus class this semester, the honors class, uh, they design goblets. And in one aspect of calculus two, uh, they learn how to compute the volume of revolution. So the students were asked to uh, design a drinking cup, which could be uh, done by volume of revolution, find the total volume, the volume of the liquid it holds, and the center of mass. And then if possible, we're 3D printing them, uh, which is still in progress. And so these are some of the students' uh, designs. This one they called a tulip. And so the, uh, there is a 2D picture of the cross section of goblet or drinking glass, and they rotate it and give us a 3D picture. And this is just a JPEG, but this is a new format X3D, which I recently learned about, which we can now rotate in the web page to look at the shape better. Whereas the old one, it was static. Uh, so I'll just show you a few of the other goblets. They're very pretty. Students designed them uh, for aesthetics. This one was a flower pot instead of a drinking glass. This one's too skinny for me to be able to 3D print. This one did it in a pastel color, uh, and but it'll still 3D print. Okay, that besides teaching, uh, I use it for my outreach activities. And I run a middle school enrichment program each summer in which they do a lot of different math activities, but ab about a quarter of the program is learning how to use Maple to do computer animations. So here's one that won first place in 2011. Uh, she added music to her video. The golfer swings and lose control of the golf club, which flies up into the air and makes a hole in one. Okay, and then here's another one. They're not all of the same high level of pretty, uh, but this one used stick figures. Okay, so they all just, all the students learn how to write Maple code uh, to do those pictures. They start on Maple on the Monday of the first week of camp, and by Thursday of the second week, they will have turned in uh, their animations uh, like this. Okay, I also am writing a calculus textbook. It's called My Math Apps Calculus. And I thought I'd show you a few of the maple animations I have made uh, that are directly in the textbook. Uh, my kids call it a Harry Potter textbook because there are animations in the pages. You can't print this book because you can't print animations. Um, so this shows how a secant vector going between two points on a curve, as you move the tip of the arrow back towards the starting point, the tangent vector, sorry, the secant vector becomes tangent to the curve. And this is basically the proof of, of that theorem. This helps students understand the difference between a left-handed helix and a right-handed helix, and uh, how to do the computations on the equation of the curve 
which will tell you if it's left-handed or right-handed. That's called calculating the torsion. And if it's positive, it's right-handed. If it's negative, it's left-handed. I can also click in these plots and stop them and move a slider so I can control it for demonstration purposes in class. Um, here are pictures of three-dimensional solids, standard set of them, sphere, ellipsoid, hyperboloid of one sheet, hyperboloid of two sheets, a cone, which some people call a double cone. And here is those three pictures. The one sheet is in red, the two sheet one is in blue, and the cone is in magenta, and they nest perfectly. Uh, and I can zoom out and you can see that they eventually look like the same surface. Uh, the ellipsoids, I'm sorry, hyperboloids, I uh, gradually look more and more like the cone when you go far away. But when you come in, you can see that there's actually a separation there. Whereas in the cone, it is always connected. Okay, you can, uh, this is the link for my textbook. Uh, it is only a sample, about half of the chapters are available to people, the ones that say sample. Uh, if you wanna have the whole book, for better or worse, you have to purchase it. Um, so I have a list of all the links that I use today. Uh, get rid of this right side. So this first one is my class projects, making the goblet. The second one is my outreach program where the middle schoolers learn how to make movies. And the third is the link to my sample textbook. And last, we've got the e my email address. And I'm happy to talk to anyone about it. Happy to receive a phone call. I'll call you back and tell you more about whatever you're asking about.